in data entry, that is the crazy part. What do we do here? We try to change that. We try to make sure that people are trading based on data charts and analytics. Uh, so for example, right, if somebody had seen the FII data in the middle of March, they would have captured a thousand point rally, which I, I hope all of us did because we have been yelling, you know, 17, 16, to 70,000 as a buy since the last one month. If somebody bothered looking at option chain, they wouldn't have been short in the last few days. Uh, except of course Monday, but then there was contrary evidence of the charts, etc. Basically, if you look at charts, data and uh, uh, trade, you don't need to look at uh, what somebody else is saying on the news. Like It doesn't matter what China is going to do next quarter if <coughs> uh, you are looking at uh, trading for this expiry, right? So anyway, let's get started with uh, uh, Kerala Grey Market. Uh, so the first thing, charts, of course. So yesterday we had said that this is a bullish hammer which is getting formed above uh, 200 DMA. Nifty is in the breakout zone so today. Again, it went above. So what it has done is, so what is normally the way in which a bullish hammer asked, uh, acts? This is the first thing. The first uh, candle is the bullish hammer, which is this, right? This right here, right? It is like this candle with a very big rejection wick on the bottom, a small head, green head. And it is on a support. So you can see that this is on a support. What is this support? This line, right? This is the 200 day moving average of Nifty futures. So on a support line, we found rejection of price at the bottom. We found a bullish hammer, which is a bullish chart pattern. And now we have a closing, which is above yesterday's close, which is a bullish hammer confirming. So support followed by bullish hammer, which is value zone of value followed by price action followed by candlestick pattern, followed by confirmation by a close above yesterday's close. Doji, of course, because we know that there's a 200 DMA here, there will be some tussle. But we have confirmed the bullish hammer and it is likely that it will go up at least according to the charts, right? So that is what chart is <clears throat> saying. Uh, now let us go look at Bank Nifty, right? Uh, again, what do we look at? We look at futures, we don't look at uh, spot. I mean, we can look at spot, uh, but uh, okay. So here's the interesting thing. Let me draw a horizontal line here. So if you look at this level, which was the previous swing high till now, around 42,600 <coughs> types, <clears throat> that has been broken and today we have a close above the previous swing high. <clears throat> now there's a likelihood that and today there's a lot of volume. So consolidation happening. There's a likelihood that this can continue. <clears throat> so let me just magnify this. <clears throat> oh God. I need to draw this thing down. Yep. Right. So you can see that there's a close <clears throat> above yesterday's close. So this looks like a breakout from the previous swing high. Uh, dollar again, <clears throat> it's continuing to be uh, bearish. Today is a pause. I don't think there's anything to read here. It's a doji candle before the continuation of the trend probably. Uh, indecision candle, it can be continuation, it can be reversal, but looks like continuation because we have broken this trend line. Which trend line? This blue trend line, which we are highlighting here. So basically it looks like it's going down, right? After taking rejection from this point, right? Um, right, <clears throat> and it can go at least till 8150, it looks like. So on charts, everything looks like <clears throat> people want to uh, no, I mean, on on uh, at least on paper, it looks like Nifty wants to go up, Bank Nifty wants to go up, Dollar wants to <clears throat> uh, go down. Now let's look at uh, open interest charts, which is our second piece of the puzzle. This is a clean um, bullish option chain because a lot of call unwind, a lot of put addition. Uh, but let's see if there's anything more to it. Last three hours, Call and put both got unwound. So that's just intraday profit booking. Last two hours, same thing. Call and put both got unwound. Last one hour, a little bit more puts than calls. But that could again be intraday profit booking because people, it had gone up during the day. But net net, the number of puts have increased 70 lakhs. Calls have increased only 35 lakhs. 
and we have a very bullish looking option chain with an elevated pcr of 0.8 which is slightly above yesterday's so option chain is looking bullish right but here is the range in the works uh, fii sold 33000 calls I, I i was very disheartened to see this data because otherwise it was very easy to trade right because tomorrow is again going to be a bullish day if it was not there but this is bearish because they sold calls this is bearish because they bought puts but on futures they have bought 500 crores which is bullish and uh, stocks are 400 crores is nothing right but here's the interesting thing right although they have bought puts and sold calls the important thing to keep in mind is see this is not a huge gap right this is a tiny gap and if you look at it right this is uh 2.24 uh, uh, quantity uh, calls sold in lakhs and 3.18 in puts. So if I do uh, 22 by 32, it's roughly 11 by it's 2 by 2 by 3, right? So for every two calls, there are three puts outstanding. Am I, am I getting this right? Yeah. 22 by 32, 22 by 33, 2 by 3, right? So it's not very bad, right? Uh, because we have seen much worse, right? Like look at some of this. This is like half the call or like 60% um, the calls. This, this is almost 70% the calls, right? Which is a healthy number. Uh, there are, uh, for every seven, uh, uh, for every 10 puts, there are uh, 10 calls outstanding. So that's not really bearish. So despite this data where FI have sold calls and bought puts i am still going to not look at it excessively because overall the oi which is represented by this thing looks healthy 7 is to 10 is not very bad right plus index futures are uh, uh 500 crore uh, so what's my verdict here right see there is <clears throat> mixed signals because of the fi thing but still i'm going to go along as long as 17 700 holds right and uh, I would do bull put spread with sell strike at 7700. I'll do bull calls. So if you don't, so if you look at this week, right, this week has been like really painful with like a small tight range playing out. So if you're fairly sure market is going to go up, but if you're not sure about the timing, then you can do bull call spread for next week, right? Bull put spread you can do for this week because uh, uh, two more days of holding 17700 and the money is in your pocket. But VIX is low, IV is low, so the premium won't be high. Bull call splits for next week is also a good idea because, you know, you get so, you have seven more days to get your view right. And because the IV is low, premium is low, it's not a bad idea to do the bull call split for next week. Right. And of course, there is a long future with tight SL we can play. For those of you who are really, you know, uh, got big, uh, uh, big, very big round ones made of brass. Uh, so, let's see. Let's see what's the RR of a bull call spread for next week. Let's see, you can do even do this week. It's just that uh, if time runs out, then and break even is very <coughs> tiny, right? Only 0.2%. So it's a very attractive trade, right? <coughs> In fact, <coughs> I'm sitting on a naked put of 17,650. Um, <coughs> And if you happen to have my verified PNL link, you can still go see my positions. I'm sitting on a naked uh, uh, call of a 7650 strike. But you can also do um, call spread. It's not a bad idea. 0.2% break even is very tiny. Tomorrow, this break even will improve even more. But if you don't want to take such a huge uh, timing gamble, you can, of course, do next week's bull call spread. It gives a <clears throat> 5 is to 4 RR, which is not bad again. 0.8 is a nice RR. And you can even spread it wider uh, of, uh, you know, 17, 17 18,000. Uh, then it gives you a uh, 4 is to 3 RR. So I'd, I'd, I'd definitely be tempted to do this as a trade also, right? Uh, so either bull put spread of uh, this month, this week, or uh, uh, the other thing of next week. Sorry, I think I wrote this wrong. This is wrong. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out, Arup. So, final crore buy bullish, 400 crore sell bearish. Uh, mixed signals, but as long as 7700 holds, I'm going to be 
uh, bullish, right? This is our analysis. Uh, quick look at user comments. Uh, yeah, a lo lot of unwinding in the last 30 minutes. Uh, Sandeep is saying thanks for the view. No, no, Sandeep, it's it's easy to give view. The rough part is to act on it. So the credit is all yours. Uh, <clears throat> Sumit is talking about sensible virtual trading. So sensible virtual trading, the deal is, uh, see, logically, NSC asks us to keep a delay to prevent Dabba trading, which is half the reason why we are uh, uh, stuck here. But let's see what we can do to improve the uh, this thing. So yeah, so yeah, this is our analysis for today. We'll see you again for tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining. And you know, as usual, please take care and keep your capital safe. Bye.